next week I'm going to talk about is even easier and a lot of people that battle making a D-Rig will love this new tool. Constructing it is as easy, again, I'm going to use the dark matter super heavy tungsten coated braid by Corda. I select a length that's just over 30 centimeters long. I cut it off. Now I'm only going to strip a really small piece and I'm going to just do 10 centimeters. And once you see this happening, you're going to love it. It really is a fantastic product. The Corda Deary Kicker is an invention that my life on fire because now I can create a variety of rigs not just this blowback rig but even a rig called a blowback spinner rig and there we're gonna do we're gonna do that a little bit later on but starting very easy I'm going to be using a quarter curve shank quarter curve shank size 2 I love using big hooks because big hooks can catch any size fish but a small hook if you are fishing against snags in weed and stuff like that you just don't want to fish a small hook so I prefer the big hooks but the easiest part in this rig obviously we're gonna make a knotless knot so what I'm going to do is just measure that I do not have too little of the uncoated braid left over so I'm pretty much let's just measure that for my sanity and yours five centimeters five centimeters from the eye of the hook to the uncoated part so I've only got a very small tag end and I'm going to make a knotless knot one two three four five six seven and back through the back of the eye As you see it comes through on the bottom end tighten it and I'm going to cut off the tag end right there for this purpose I'm going to be using a micro ring swivel let me just pull it out here from my tackle box and fitting it is really easy take the sharp end of the dairy kicker and push the swivel through the, the ring part push it in and now just reversing it going backwards so from the sharp end I slide the dairy kicker on all the way through and then you see the dairy kicker has got a flat end and a rounded end so I'm going to bend that rounded end around the hook point come on swivel get out of the way there just like that and it's already got a pre-punched hole so you only need to just guide it through that pre-punched area add a bit of saliva now here's the point where you would probably use a hook puller push it tight against your chest and just pull that kicker over the eye of the hook just like so and all I do now slide this up a little bit put it in position and voila we've got a blowback D-Rig tying a bait onto that is even easier quarters bait floss take a piece of floss take a bait now I've just got to get my floss caps now I add my quarter floss caps you break one off and you just push it into the bait literally just 
push it in like so. Take your baiting needle, push your baiting needle through. Take the floss, push it through the eye of the little swivel. And now I just thread my bait onto the floss all the way so that I just pull the first ring of the swivel inside. Make sure that the floss cap is sitting tight. Cut it off. I use a cigar lighter because of the intense flame. And I just burn it and I dab it. And there I have the perfect D rig. This is again, we showed it earlier on, this is a wafter. Hook is going to lie flat and the bait is just going to hover above it. The minute the fish picks it up, the hook is going to be proud. Finishing it off at the back end, again, from the eye of the hook, 19 centimeters, I fold a double and I do a double granny knot. So it's once through the eye, twice, and again, I just ease the knot. Take my chodded kit, oh, sorry, chodded tool, and I just like to round it a little bit, just makes it neat. Cut it off, and there we have the perfect D rig.